Hello, what is up? It's no secret that I love creepy things, so it's about time that Summer and I did a Junji Ito inspired photo shoot. I shot them on 35mm so that added another layer of suspense for me. I waited a week to get these in, but now I can finally show you the photos and if you want to just see how they turned out, I'll have the photos by themselves at the end of the video. Otherwise, I'm gonna go through each photo and what inspired them and how we got the shot. Alright, so first we have to start with the classic Tomie face melting into her hands. Oh, I got it! Are you really a plant owner if you don't have gnats just flying everywhere all the time? So this shot a little a little more background um the odds were stacked against us for this shoot and i honestly thought that this role was going to be a dud i'm lugging my tripod i'm bringing it into her room and i realize that i don't have the attachment that screws onto the bottom of the camera that allows you to attach it to the tripod so my tripod was rendered useless um so uh long exposures plus no tripod equals very blurry but i surprisingly got some really good shots Long exposure, just start here, shutter opens, heh, <laughs> shutter closes, you know? And we got we got it once, but this attempt, I, I love this attempt more than the one that turned out how it was supposed to. This one has like a very accidental dreamy effect to it just because it is long exposure, so her face moved a little bit, so it's it's very soft looking. I just I love this one so much. It's one of my favorite photos from the shoot, plus her expression. So good. I'm holding her phone. Um, I'm using her flashlight with a toilet roll tube over it, so it creates a spotlight effect. It went like this. I'm, I'm holding her phone with a flashlight on, and then I have my, my camera in this hand with the self-timer on, and then I'm just, I'm holding it as still as possible. mainly found my inspiration from searching up Junji Ito art and whatever like strikes my interest I'll like go down a rabbit hole and find more so I found this one the expression the white eyes the spindly fingers going like this it was all just like okay I have to recreate this somehow so we had summer in a black turtleneck against the black background for this one we just had her overhead light in her room just like her normal room lights and then when I brought this into Photoshop I blacked out her eyes so by doing that I feel like the main attention the main event is her hands going like this I don't know if I need to put a trigger warning there's blood on this one but yeah uh, decapitated head being held up by the yeah like this. <laughs> we stayed with the turtleneck against the black background, so we had- it was- it's pretty simple. This one's like straightforward. Summer was just going like this, um, so it kind of looks like her head is floating. That one, easy peasy. Nothing- nothing crazy. I apologize for the- for the resolution, the quality of this reference photo. It's like 100 by 200 pixels, so uh, it's not that great looking, but you get the intention. So I really enjoy the angle and then also the expression and just like her eyes. Her eyes are like the star of the show in this image, so I wanted to recreate that. And I'm so happy with how these two photos turned out. I cannot tell you. I had the camera pretty close to her face and the only thing that was mostly in focus was the eye closest to the camera and everything else is really soft and I just love how that looks especially with like the black background the focus is only her face if it's like head on I like distorting the face but I feel like the angle is just so bizarre that it's kind of distorted in its own way you know We have a nice little spotlight moment. Um, these were difficult, to say the least. It was like the first photo I had to... We were working in a pitch black room, 
flashlight in one hand, camera on self timer in the other. I was trying to stay as still as possible. Um, so these ones did have quite a bit of camera shake, but I feel like it kind of worked out in the long run because, okay, this is how I envision it in my head. So you're walking in a like, you're walking in a dark house and you only have a flashlight on you and you're just trying to navigate your way through the house and then in the corner of your eye, you see a girl huddled in the corner. So you flash your flashlight and then you're like, are you okay? And then she turns around and her eyes are all whited out like that, like, ah! So like the, the shaky camera, it looks like very startling as if you just like caught her by surprise or like you're you're shaken up by her presence or something but yeah i've always been intrigued by images of like people facing walls it it's just so creepy for some reason right because you don't know what their face looks like it's like they're being punished you know like why are they facing a wall why are they facing the corner and you kind of just don't want them to turn around very horror movie very creepy i like it those are the main photos. Other than that, I had to finish up my roll, so I took a couple extras. Here are some bonus photos that are not as creepy. getting really dark. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun with this shoot and I hope you guys enjoyed the photos. I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye!